there's an additional issue with pornography, which is not often discussed, which is that remember guys in particular, the brain is a learning prediction machine. And if I'm not trying to say that all pornography is bad, but there are good data to support the idea that if your brain learns to be aroused by watching other people have sex, it is not necessarily going to carry over to the ability to get aroused when you're one-on-one -on -one with somebody else, right? The, it, especially young kids who are consuming a lot of pornography, the brain is learning sexual arousal to other people having sex. So you're going to program yourself into being a voyeur. Or, yeah, or just create challenges in, in sexual interactions with, uh, you know, with, with peers, uh, with a with a real partner. Right? Mary Harrington has the three laws of porno dynamics and the second law of porno dynamics is the law of fap entropy. And it says that whatever you start out wanking to will get progressively more intense over time. And I think that this is sort of speaking to that ever, ever sort of escalating amount of um, the wildness that you need to watch in order to get an ever decreasing stimulus that comes back. Yeah. And you know, here I'm, I'm approaching this only through the lens of biology, right? I'm not a, you know, I'm not a psychologist and I'm certainly not um, political in it in any way. At least not, I have ideas about politics, but I just don't discuss them publicly. But the, but the idea here is that, you know, I'm not saying pornography as a stimulus is bad or good. What I'm saying is it in its availability and its extreme forms, it's a very potent stimulus and very potent stimuli of any kind, extremely palatable food, extreme pornography, um, extreme experiences like bungee cord jumping, those set a threshold for dopamine release. And Anna will tell you that, and I'm sure she did, that the higher the dopamine peak, the bigger the drop afterwards. And it's not that you drop to baseline, you drop below baseline. So again, it's not, these things aren't good or bad. They just have to be controlled in a way because when people are pursuing dopamine peaks over and over and over and they aren't getting them, typically it's because they've been pursuing that activity far too often. And you're saying perhaps take a break from that and there may be uh, an ability for yourself, your system to reset. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in theory, all the things that we're talking about with pornography could be superimposed onto food or could be superimposed onto real sex, right? Um, that one also has to be cautious there, right? But the cycling back and forth between dopamine and low dopamine states, dopamine fasting as it were, but maybe just low dopamine states. These are natural rhythms that exist in the nervous system. We have to remember what the dopaminergic system is there for. I'll say it again, I wasn't consulted at the design phase, but we know as a, as a generic form of motivation and pursuit, 